Well, it's been about a year since Eclipse got access to Dark Surge, and this is actually the first time I'm using it. I just really didn't want to open the floodgates for this thing. I was gonna say Eclipse looks good in this battle, but Eclipse always looks good. Well, it looks like they don't have any entry hazards, and they don't have no way to get rid of my entry hazards, unless this thing has... gusts. But oh well. You can't stop me from going for one layer, although I guess you could provoke me now. But you don't, you just go for Airblade. Did I not give this thing Jetstream? Am I dumb? I mean, I guess I'll get a second layer of barbs up. I'm just really hoping you don't have gusts. Okay, looks like you don't. Maybe. I think I'm just gonna go into Zulong here, hoping that they Airblade again, because I resist it, so it shouldn't really do that much damage. And yeah, there's Airblade again, and now we get to go for Zip Zap. Yeah, I think we just Zip Zap, but uh, they actually just stayed in it, looks like, so... I could have just KO'd it. Now something has to take a muck blast to the face. I'm so sorry, Gobidemic. I should have played a little bit smarter. I should have just clicked Thunder Strike. I'm an idiot. Actually, never mind. They go for poison barbs. Well, um, my only poison type, toxic type, is on the field, so I gotta withdraw it. So something's bound to get poisoned. Just need to go back into Gobidemic. Okay, then they went into Hunter, which, uh, yeah, I don't really have a swap in for this, so I'm just gonna go into Meditoad. I don't think they'll click Mega Chomp straight away, right? They definitely won't. Oh, they go for Thunder Chomp. Got him. Now, we could just go into our Eclipse here and bait out the Mega Chomp, however, I don't really want Eclipse to get poisoned, and even if I do swap into it, we definitely aren't gonna one-shot it from full health, so it's not really a good idea. So instead, we just have Mato basically go down to the Mega Charm. Never mind, we actually live it. Great, love to see it. So we actually get a hit with a Thunder Strike now, which uh, is actually gonna live, because it has a Pearl for some reason, but now we get to go into Godbademic, get rid of the barbs, and we're good. And the, the barb's gone, and now I guess we just go for Muck Blast. I mean, there isn't really anything else I can really do here. I could just pray that they go for Mega Trump again and go into Fight Eclipse, but I can't really see them clicking it here. Okay, Len, do I actually KO it? I do. Okay, nice. Ooh, Cephalops. <sighs> I really, really, really want to go into Fight Eclipse, but I don't really need to swap into a Cephalops just in case they click Tsunami, so I think I just Muck Blast them because we can hit them for super effective damage, and we're gonna do a lot of freaking damage to them as well. And they actually go for Soul Drain, so I could have actually technically gone into my Eclipse, but I didn't. It's fine though, we don't really need the speed boost on Eclipse, we have like pretty general bulk overall, or pretty decent bulk overall, so we just go into Eclipse here, we click Gamma Pulse, we get to KO the Cephalops, and whatever comes out next, I probably can deal with, hopefully. But there's the Gamma Pulse, you should definitely die, there's no way you live. Uh, and yeah, now what do you go into? It's Halvantic. Ah, yeah, about that. Not exactly the best thing for me, really. I mean, they can't use their Gnarly Gash anymore, which is nice, but uh, yeah, I was gonna pray. I KO them. Okay, critical hit. I was kind of praying for a flinch, but that also works. And it looks like their last Lumion is a Zulong, which uh, Pretty sure we can definitely take a Thunder Strike to the face, so we just hit it with a Gamma Pulse and pray that we one-shot it. Because, uh, yeah, I don't actually have a Light Essence, I have a Dark Essence, but they go for Dodge anyway. Stop wasting my energy, man. Okay, they go for Thunder Strike. We definitely live that. It just depends if we get paralyzed and then fully paralyzed, which we don't. Is it enough to one-shot it low? Nice. And that's the battle, right? Okay. Okay, this is really good. You probably have Gamma Pulse, you have Mega Chomp, you have Slap Down, and Baffle. Okay, I'm predicting them to lead off with their Garagolum, but it's actually Hunter, which pretty sure we outspeed, so I could just go for Douse. Yeah, I think I just go for Douse. I don't think they really have anything to swap into this, so it just depends if it lives with a Clutch Plushie, but it doesn't, so nice. Although now they know I am Boots, so they actually surprisingly go into your snack here. Um, what are you gonna do? Probably Quick Punch, I guess? I'll go Imperi here, just to scout out to see what's gonna do, but it actually goes for Baffle. I could've just gone into my Eclipse and got a free boost. I'm actually surprised they did that, to be honest. Okay, Ellen, what are you bringing in? Boneki, okay. You definitely outspeed me, but if you KO me, you also faint, so... It's actually not that big of a deal for me. I'm gonna click Dark Surge just in case you set up 
but you actually attack me. That actually won't KO me, but this will still do a pretty good amount of damage to you, right? Pretty sure, because Bonek is not super bulky. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that, that is really, really good. So if we actually get rid of Boneki, we're just free to spam Gamma Pulse as much as I want to like hit the um, your snack. I'll click Shrew Blast just in case they go back into your snack, and it actually paid off because they did. Okay, then. So we actually get to hit it pretty hard, although it has got tanks, so it's not like super, super hard, but it's better than Dark Surge. And here, I guess we actually go for the Barter. Okay, then we just go for the Barter one. Here's my Vol- Oh, actually, you get my Volcanic Ashes, I get your Health Amulet, which, uh, I mean, it's kind of nice. It does counter the burn. The issue is I'm- Oh, actually, that critical hit kind of sucks. I was really hoping that you would go for a Quick Punch here. But, uh, yeah, you actually don't have Quick Punch. I'm an idiot. You have Shadow Sprints. I guess we just click. Actually, no, they do have Quick Punch. Never mind, I take it back. I get a little bit of chip damage with that Resentful ability, so I'll take it. So it's Heartbreak, Quick Punch, Baffle. I'm assuming Slapdown then. So we could actually go into the Eclipse, because that way they actually can't Baffle against us. They probably have to go for the Heartbreak in hopes that they daze me. Although, at the same time, I don't think it's really worth going into to Clips right now. We just need one layer of barbs, and then if they're going for a Boneki, I'm pretty sure it just faints on impact when it enters the field. So, I'll go to take one layer, and they're probably just gonna baffle out. Okay, then. That is fine. What do you go into, though? It actually is the Boneki, and I think it just faints, right? Okay, perfect. And here comes the Nimere. Um... I would really like to swap into, swap into the clips. I can't speak for some reason, I'm just super tired, I guess. But they could potentially have Hypnotize, and they could also just actually fire off an airtight move, but I think we just had to switch into the clips and hope for the best, because they can't really hit me that hard. And if they do hit me with Gamma Pulse, which likes to go for Deja Vu, which is completely fine, but now I just basically get to fire off a Dark Surge, which is gonna do a lot of damage. Your Snack doesn't really wanna swap in if it does I break his tank, then I just Gamma Pulse it, and they can't really do anything about this now, this is great. They go for Deja Vu, it's not gonna work, I haven't clicked a move yet, man! Come on, big damage, big damage, big damage, oh, big damage. I'm assuming then they're just gonna probably hit me with another Deja Vu, so their Your Snack doesn't get hit with a Gamma Pulse, but I'm just gonna swap out, I don't really understand what the point of that was, but sure. Yeah, there's your snag, bro. I mean, it's burnt, so it's taking chip damage. It just took damage from the barbs. I could just hit you to break the tank, honestly, but I also don't need to stay in. I just go back into Godpodemic. I don't really care about brawler type moves that much, so I get to set even more layer of barbs if I want to. Okay, let's actually go back into clips. There's a good chance they might just click baffle here because they can't really do too much to Godpodemic, so... Do they click Baffle and give me a speed boost? They actually just go for Heartbreak again. Okay, don't daze. Dang it. Although at the same time, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, it's not really doing that much damage to me, so if I just don't hit myself, I still should be fine. Okay, actually, let's get on to rest. That means you should die. Actually, wait. Have I broken tank yet? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. I don't remember if I did or not, but it's dead. And your last Lumion is Wintrix, or at least I think it's your last Lumion. I guess I could have actually gone for a power focus the last turn, but oh well. We go for Dark Surge and we outspeed it, I think we do, and we don't hit ourselves. How much damage do I do? Is it enough to one shot or do I get the flinch? Nothing happened. Okay, that's fine. We still take that. So now it comes onto this move. Don't hit yourself to clips, please. Yes, okay, and that should be the game, I think, right? Yeah, I, I think that's the game. The clips is pretty good. And then jumping into the set, we're running 200 speed TPs with Nimble to be as fast as possible, and at plus one, we outspeed practically everything in the game, including most boot users. The 200 range attack TPs with Smart lets us hit as hard as possible. The 20 energy TPs gives us 237 energy to use at level 50, which lets me use one power focus, one raging howl, and then three gamma pulses or dark surges, or 
I can use 3 Raging Howls and 1 Gamma Pulse or Dark Surges. The 16 Range Defense TPs makes Protagon get a melee attack increase rather than a ranged one, and the 64 Health TPs are then leftovers. The item I'm running is a Dark Essence which lets my Dark Surge do more damage, although you can replace this with any other Essence or even a Shell if you wanted to. You can also run a Health Amulet to make setting up easier, but if you are going to run this item, you might want to reorganize the TP so you can get to 88 Health TPs which will give you one extra health each turn. And then for the ability, we're using the secret ability Total Eclipse. It's just one of the best abilities in the game, period, that makes us immune to dark and light type moves, and on top of that, it gives us a speed increase if we're actually hit by one of them. Which, when paired with our typing, actually gives us a total of three immunities. And then finally for the moves, we're running Gamma Pulse and Dark Surge as our best stab options. Raging Howl is just a good, strong coverage move, and our last move is Power Focus that lets us set up to deal more damage. And even though in most cases, we won't be using the melee attack increase, it does make our flails a little bit stronger as well. Although there are some other options like dodge, scapegoat, or even gluminous raw. 